What's up, buddy? Welcome back to another Disney Toys review. Today, I am reviewing Doug on M, which was suggested to me by 95 Fan, I believe, if I'm saying it correctly. Uh, if, I, if I'm not saying your name correctly, I apologize. But he's the guy who did suggest Larry Camper. But um, a thing that I realized after actually uploading the video was that I've actually reviewed Larry Camper uh, seven months ago prior to the video I uploaded a few days ago. And I'm actually surprised no one actually called that out. Well, Quickster did mention I made three videos on uh, on Larry Camper. But the the third video was kind of an accident because I the that video was supposed to be the Doug I M video, but instead I was just thinking about Larry Camper for some reason. So I was like, oh, it's Larry Camper that needs to be reviewed, not Doug I M. But apparently it was actually Doug I M. So Larry Camper um accidentally I would say got a extra review out. Kinda of breaking my review policy because my review policy is the car has to be reviewed within a year of being on camera if it's been on camera and I kind of broke that policy because it's been seven months since that other review so I kind of broke my own rule on the reviews so yeah I kind of, I kind of look like a hypocrite for that um, but I'm actually very surprised no one actually like said that really but anyways guys I'm actually very excited to review this character not just because it's Doug I M. Doug I M is a great camper um, but he's also I actually, this guy was my first Disney Cars video. He was actually my very first video. It was a video of unboxing Doug R.M., Linen Slines, and that other guy. I forget his names. But it was a video of Doug R.M. and opening these two guys. And that was two years old. That was my first video on the Disney Cars channel, believe it or not. Um, and it it actually has a pretty decent amount of views, which I'm pretty happy about. So yeah, this guy's kind of like a, uh, he's kind of, he's kind of an important character to me because he's like, kind of, he's kind of like the star of the channel in a way. Um, Larry Camper, I don't know if I reviewed his unboxing. I don't think I unboxed him. No, I didn't because I got Larry Camper way before I actually started making the unboxing videos. So Larry Camper missed out on a great opportunity but Doug I am he is I would say a special one to the channel um, and I'm happy I'm actually happy to review him on Christmas even though no one suggested him for a Christmas review this guy was suggested like back in August um so yeah anyways I'm done rambling so without further ado let's get into the review of this amazing camper so first off you can see right away his aggressive expression we're not aggressive but like um, um, <laughs> his excitement, they say that, his excitement, because, like, it, this expression is, like, of him, like, when he's chewing on, I would say, Lightning McQueen, I believe, it looks like he's doing that whistle expression, crazed fan expression, whatever you want to call it, he has a 95 flag on him, a queen, Lightning McQueen, flag i really like the detail i like the design of this guy the the green goes very well with the the tan of this guy you got some windows you got a little storage compartment down here you got these giant nice silver rims on the back nothing that exciting a window a spare tire and some very cherry bright cherry red tail lights and he has this extended bumper and same thing on the side, storage. He has a pissing cup flag. And then he has a few other pissing cup flags. He has a checkered pissing cup flag and a standard white background pissing cup flag and a blue background checkered pissing cup flag and another checkered pissing cup flag. This guy has a lot of flags. Like out of all the campers I own, he has, he's the one with the most flags. I would say, because Larry Camper, which I'm going to be comparing to this guy, he only has two pissing cup flags. Bud RV has zero flags. And Barry Diesel doesn't have any flags. He has two Dynacol oil cans attached to each side of his his head. 
But yeah, I really like it. He has a very interesting eye color, by the way. Kind of looks like a grayish green. I'm not quite sure. But I really like it. Very smooth top, by the way. With an air conditioning vent in the background. And he has this silver trimming from the base all the way up to the roof and back down to the side. Really like that. I really like the silver trimming on cars in general. I kind of, I just find it like very, very aesthetic. Very nice thing to add add to a car. Um, um, but it looks nice on diecast too, if it's presented properly. Very interesting headlights though. Like a giant circle and then a divot and then you get the little silver thing which is supposed to be the light. Um, and this is a mouse plate. Sadly he was released with a mouse plate. He would have better he would have actually looked better without one. But what are you going to do? On the base, nothing that important. Uh, I had it right, I had the right side up. Uh, it says Disney Pixar cars made in China. All this coating. And some more coating. And these double ties in the back. Very nice. T two deep rivets, they're not held in my screws. And he has an extended bumper on the front as well, which I think is a nice addition to Larry Camper. So now let's get into the comparison with Larry Camper, which was in my last video, um, who was actually not supposed to be in that video. <laughs> but anyways, you, you can see already, Doug I am is a much bigger, he's much bigger. He's also heavier. This is like a basic solid metal die cast. He's not as heavy as Bud RV and Barry Diesel. Barry Diesel is a pretty heavy solid die cast. But for 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 the casting of this character, it's pretty heavy. The, the, the only things that are plastic on it really are the flags, the mirror, the air vents, um, the the mouse plate, the bumpers, and the whole base. That's the only that's the only thing that's plastic, and that's not going to weigh that much. So he's actually a pretty heavy die cast. I think I did mention that when I was unboxing him, um, that he's a pretty heavy die cast. Later, camp on the other hand, he's not heavy. The only piece of metal that is on Larry is the cab. The rest, his whole backside is just full plastic and it's actually kind of interesting though that Larry Camper here does not have a mouse plate he is a unibody casting but Doug I am over here he has a mouse plate and these two released in the same year but I think they released in two separate months I believe of the year but you guys mentioned that Larry Camper here was released back in like 2015 or so which seems like a long time ago but it's actually not <laughs> I actually do remember actually finding this guy in Toys of Us. I I vague I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a great experience for me. But yeah, look at that. Look at the two campers together. Looking nice. But yeah. Larry Camper is a much smaller die cast, much lighter. Um I don't know which one I would like more. I like both of them. Um, I don't know which one. Which which one do you like more? Do you prefer Doug I M or do you prefer Larry Camper? It's kind of hard for me to decide because I like the campers overall. I just like I just think they're a very nice addition to the cars line. And I wonder if Mattel is going to be making any more campers in the future. Hopefully they do, because I, I feel like there's potential for a few more campers to be released, especially from the Cars 3 series, because I know there were some new campers in the crowd of, of those races. And yeah, that's basically the end of this review. Um, again, very important character to the channel. He was the first one on a channel, um, besides the two buses from the Planes of Fire Rescue series. And... Uh, yeah, and the the reason like today today I had a today I had a snow day, so I felt like being productive. So I was like, hey, let's, let's actually get a video out. So I was like, so I'm I'm getting this video out for you. Usually on school days, um, I I 
I get home after school and I record the videos and I edit them and I pre I pre I pre post I schedule a post I schedule it for the next day at a certain time but I'm actually I'm actually off today I got a snow day so I felt like let's be productive today let's do some stuff so yeah I decided to record a review I may actually record another review and schedule it for another time I don't know. But anyways, guys, that's actually it for this video. Hope you have a good rest day. And if you have any suggestions for this, for the rest of December, so I can continue out these videos on to Christmas and to New Year's, please, please do so. It's always welcomed. And oh yeah, also I'm actually, in, um, it's kind of cringy for me to do this, but I'm actually gonna like, plug in my TikTok. So if you uh, are, are interested in following that, please do so. I believe by the time this video is up, or around the time this video is uploaded, uh, I'll have like a new one out. It's 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 like a snow day related one. Is that I I I, I think it's actually pretty funny. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Um, yeah, that's basically this video. Hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.